The K Plus S Legacy Project is the first new greenfield potash mine built in Saskatchewan in more than 40 years. And today, I get to take a peek inside. VP of Operations Sam Ferris was nice enough to show me around this project, which will invest $4.1 billion into Saskatchewan's economy. It was built whole in Melville at the Babcock and Wilcox shop, and then they shipped it on a truck. Okay, so now we're in the evaporation plant. You can see one of the evaporators. Oh, wow, well, yeah. It's all scaffolded. They got a, they're doing the insulation on it. Sam also helped me understand how solution mining differs from more traditional means of potash mining. Two boreholes spaced roughly 80 meters apart are directionally drilled to a depth of 1,500 meters. Hot water is pumped down both wells, which dissolves the minerals, creating two subterranean sumps. When they grow large enough to become one connected cavern, one well continues pumping hot water. This pushes a sodium chloride and potassium chloride saturated brine to the surface through the second well. The site currently employs nearly 4,500 people, and I had the opportunity to chat with a few K Plus S employees who are new to Saskatchewan, like Olivia. I am from a little town in Northern Ontario called Timmins. Um, well, I heard of the job opportunity and I knew it was a greenfield project and I knew that there was a ton of opportunity here and I just couldn't resist that. And what does Olivia do as a process analysis? So we get samples from our well field and we'll get samples from our plant and we analyze them to see the concentration of certain elements. The most rewarding thing about the job is that it changes from day to day and as a group we're able to kind of meet every challenge and successfully complete it as a group. Yeah. So that's really interesting. It's not like a monotonous recipe that we follow every single day. Yeah. By the end of 2017, the K Plus S Legacy Project is expected to produce 2 million metric tons of potash per year. And that number is expected to grow in the years to follow.